at work jack tv loyalty test so what do you guys think i'm gonna ask at the beginning of the video do you think the girlfriend's gonna cheat do you think she's gonna stay loyal let me know i already have my answer but i'll give it to you in about at about the 10 minute mark let's get it welcome back to another episode on jack tv if you guys missed the last episode here's a quick recap yeah, yeah. yeah. so we can go upstairs the team and shit yeah yeah i watched this one i watched this one this one's uploaded on my channel already i watched today we're helping key place his girlfriend ashley to a loyalty test so did you actually try to engage and actually had a conversation with her really haven't bro i just i don't like to argue you know what i'm saying i know where it can go Today, our decoy Enzo will be pretending to be rich. Well, he's actually really rich. He's actually a rapper out of Houston, Texas. And today, he will be pretending this is his house and asking Ashley on a date. This is what we at, y'all. This is what we at. Don't say you not, bro. We, we can't never go outside, bro. So we don't. Yeah, I don't know why they showed us all that. Like, show us the new shit. Today, we're placing Adrian's girlfriend, Lisa, to a loyalty test. Like I had said over the phone to you guys, man. Me and my girl, I haven't been doing that great. You know, it's it's like ever since this whole hair business started, everything's been going down here. It started off fine, we was making good money off of it, and then now it's like our full time thing. Her focus is drawn away from me. She does all this stuff with. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold up. Big screen. I'm just gonna say this now. You and your girl, correct? You and your girl started a business together. Maybe it was her dream, and you helped her. Now she's focused on the business more than you, and you are upset. Like, what is the focus, though? Is she, like, focusing on other men? Or is she just really locked into the bag of business and you feel like maybe she's not giving you the, the attention you need? Because if you feel like you're not getting the attention you need, you feel me, Gango? Then all you need to do is leave her. <laughs> what? Come on. Pretty simple. But with all these dudes, instead of the females that I was told that she was going to be working with. And it seems like the more I bring up the topic, the more she kind of backtracks and just kind of slinks away and does it worse. Uh, they call her all types of hours. The appointments take longer than they're supposed to. She was like, oh, it's going to be like a 45 minute appointment. It'd be like an hour. And, right. and it's really starting to get to me, man. Okay. You know, at least he said it's bothering him. He's being, he's being honest. But I mean, 45 minutes to an hour, extra 15 minutes on top of an appointment. I mean, I feel like that's about regular, right? But let me know in the comments or let me know in chat if I'm wrong. So what I'm saying. Our decoy Dino will be testing Lisa's loyalty by making passes at her and seeing how far she will be willing to go. Will she remain loyal or will she entertain Dino's advances? What are you, what are your limits? Oh, oh yeah, definitely not kissing, bro. Uh, the, the the talking part is fine. We can live with that, but no no touching, no kissing, none of that. No touching. Okay. I'd rather you not, like you want to touch her arm and stuff. That's fine, but I'm not like groping and stuff. The only reason I'm saying this, man, is just. I've seen y'all videos before. Like, I'm happy to be here with y'all, but you know, I've seen you kiss on a girl. You was touching on one too much. And at the end of the day, I'm still trying to have a relationship after this. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 for sure. Yeah, so. I feel you, bro. Respectful. Bro said, as I've seen your videos, you've been kissing on them. Hold up. Big zoom. You've been kissing on them. You've been hugging on them. And y'all be doing a little too much for my for my, for my my taste. So please don't do that to my girl because we're going to have problems in here. But, bro, you brought your girl on the loyalty test, bro. Bro, you brought your girl on the loyalty test. You brought your girl in the loyalty test, bro. They're, it's going to get nasty, bro. It's going to get crazy on here, bro. Jack off. I had to say his, his uh, outro for him. Yeah, I yeah, appreciate you, man. Hey, bro, you want somebody here? Nah, I'm finna go. I'm finna get some gas. Get it on pump. Mm. Nah, I got you on the gas, bro. You got me on the gas. Yeah, I got you, bud. Anyway. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Look, bud. I, I, I clicked the link in your bio. Complete some of them deals and got $100. Trust pilot. A trusted source that come from real people just to help get off the ground. Which is what we'll be using to get Lisa to this house. Being that Lisa accepts house calls, this was way easier than anticipated. All we had to do was have Dino book a house call and literally that was it. Now she did feel hesitant because Dino was a new client and wanted to talk to him over the phone before moving forward with the appointment. Hello, Lisa? Yes, it's Lisa. Hey, Lisa, this is Dino. I had uh, booked the, the appointment for you for the house call online on your uh, Instagram. What you want to get done? I'm looking for something quick because I got to go out of town. So something like uh, I normally get like Twist or tw yeah, like Twist has braided back, something like that. I can just actually send you a picture of what I'm looking for if that's cool. Okay, yeah, sounds like I can do that. All right, I'll show you exactly what I want to do. What's like, what, what's price you going for? You doing about an hour or is it a style? Um, I do about a style. It'll be, if it's just basic Twist, kind of depending on what you send me, I can send you a price point on that. All right, cool. And what, what's a good time for you? Mm. Probably later on in the day. Probably later at night. Can we do like, 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 like eight? Yeah, that sounds good. 
All right, cool, cool. All right, so I just see the address. Uh, I'll send it to this number or Instagram. Which which one you prefer? You can send it to Instagram. Mm -hmm. Say it again. You can send it to Instagram or this number. All right, cool. And it's in Austin, right? Yes. All right, cool. All right. Yeah. 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 We're going to Austin, y'all. <laughs> We're going to Austin, y'all. <laughs> that was a pretty funny. Bro, I actually just completed a few deals. Like you said, dude, I went back and did some more, bro. Look, I absolutely dislike that ad. I just don't like that ad, bro. It's super annoying. Because, like, from everything I've seen about those, they're not, you feel me, what they're supposed to be. But that's besides the point. Back to the video. Sorry, 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 sorry. He's walking up right now, so we'll be ready. He's walking up. Uh -huh. All right, Twine. Hey, what's up? Hi. What up? What up? I'm good. I'm All good. All right, little Twine. Okay, I see you. Yeah, Looking nice. Bag with me. Okay, you cool. We're not worried about the gate. We're close by itself. So. Okay. What's far drive? Um, only like 30 minutes. It's not 30 good. minutes? Nah, no, that's cool. Walk this way. It's right. We're right over here with it. We got a beautiful moment. You like this? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I do I do what I can, you feel me? Yeah, I do what I can. Appreciate it, though. And uh, I mean, what, uh, everything you need, just let me know. I should have Whatever. everything I need for the most part. Um, I'll just probably need a chair for you soon. Yeah, we can sit here. What, you need more light, or? Oh, uh, no, the light that's is cool. good. I can use one of those chairs. Yeah, that's cool right here. That's um, cool. You can face it toward the TV. That way, when yeah, I'm yeah, moving. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. I got watch. you. So you ain't even thought to, like, go with her when she go to, like, these house calls? How long you been doing her? Oh, man, that'd be kind of weird. It's like her going to work with me. All right, yeah. But uh, can we turn it up a little bit? Because I can't really hear it. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Yo, you started in college? Yeah. Trying to get that, that money out them students. You ain't, yeah, yeah. You ain't slick. Yeah, trying to get that money out them, uh, what the heck, with them little checks they get? Yeah, yeah. I got some tuition. It's high now. Uh, oh, you still in school? Yeah, I'm finishing up my last year, so. Okay. Okay, well, congratulations on that. Thank that's you. A, that's a, Thank you. It's a hell of a milestone. How long have you been growing your hair out for? Right. Oh, so you know? You got you more than welcome to ask some tips. About, About a year now, yeah. So but I'm trying. Too tender headed? Or? Extremely tender headed. Okay, I'll try to be as light as possible. Please. Okay. Now, nah, for real, because. So all right, be. you heard my head. I'm going to take that out your tip. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't take it out the tip. Please. Yes, I'll, I'll tell you. I'm gonna just take it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, I got you. She, all right. So hold on, hold on. Big zoom, big zoom, small zoom, big zoom. Explain with y'all. But um, do y'all think she's being flirtatious, or do y'all think she's like just having conversation while she does hair? Because I feel like if you go in there kind of stale and boring, like you, you feel me, it'd be boring for your everybody. But let me know what y'all think in the comments. Back to it. I was finna uh, wash it and rinse it and stuff, but I. Didn't know how far you was or how long it was going to take you to get here. So I didn't want to keep you waiting. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's a little dry, but, it's, yeah. you know, that's normal with our hair. It's the first time I ever get to see her actually do this. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've had all these doubts and all these thoughts about what goes on and I'm nervous about what we got to find out. When you talking, take one of your phone off because your voice carry, you don't know how loud you're talking. Not bad. Not as good. Okay. What you do, what you be doing, like, when Bro you Bro is trolling, hair? being loud yeah, as fuck. I'm chilling for the most part. I just try to do my schoolwork and stay out the way. So how long have you been together? Oh, well, like in relationship-wise, like eight months. But I've known her since college. So we met in college. How long was that for you? Like four years before me. Damn. Yeah, yeah, she, she, she gave me a chance, man. You know? Bro, okay. Okay, okay, okay. This makes it even easier. If you've known, if you were friends with her for four years, you should know what type of activities and what type of timing she can be on. Y'all was friends for four years. Four years. There's no reason for you to be like, well, I have doubts about this. Why, stupid? You've been with her for four years. There's no need. Or you knew her for four years before y'all started dating. There's no need. You know what kind of activities she could get up to. So if you feel like something is going on and you know this person very well, right, there's a high chance that what you feel feeling could be correct. So why even waste your time doing this? I mean, thank you for doing it for our entertainment. But I mean, you feel me? It is what it is. I was kind of nerdy kid. Nobody really. How long was that friends before you started to actually like it? Uh, first day. Oh, you on some different shit. Yeah. She treated me different than everybody else, man. You know, at the time, so she was cool with me. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. So you want me to try to entertain shit? You got boyfriend and shit? Um. 
okay this is gonna end bad already she he just asked if she had a boyfriend and she said um instead of yes i do um holy shit guys holy shit aruzies holy crap mm, yeah somebody i talked to you got somebody you talk to that y'all cool that you cool or whatever yeah that don't sound like it okay how do y'all take that answer how do y'all take that answer y'all let me know how do y'all take that answer they, there's somebody cool with that she talks to how do y'all take that that doesn't sound like boyfriend right in my opinion it doesn't sound like a boyfriend so we already know where this is going clearly it's not too serious something too serious why Nowadays, you gotta worry about cheating, worry about holding somebody up. So. Some people cheat, some people don't. I think it depends on how you look at cheating. When you meet a person that doesn't cheat, let me know. What is cheating? You, you looking at what's going on. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Are you in denial, bro? Denial of what? Right now, I haven't seen anything that's really going like. Oh, so it's cool if he feel like he ain't, ain't know that. All right. All right, all right. It's this simple now at this point. The girl literally denied having a boyfriend. That's a red flag. She denied having a boyfriend. That is an immediate red flag. And there's nothing else you could say about that. She literally, she denied him as a boyfriend, said it's a little something. We got something going on, but it's not really important because people cheat and da 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 da. And he's okay with that. Don't bother him, then I guess no money. It kind of threw us for a loop because Adrian sat there and was kind of denying everything that was going on within the test. She didn't deny the fact that they were in a relationship, but she downplayed it as if it wasn't serious. On top of that, she also insinuated that everyone in a relationship cheats, which should have raised a red flag when it came to Adrian. And he would just sit in the command center acting like everything was okay. But that And that's what I'm saying. She said a lot of things that are red flags, and bro just said, well, sounds good to me. Yeah, get get buddy up out of here. He's cooked. To me, it's it's not that much. I wasn't trying to persuade Adrian that his girlfriend felt this test because everybody has their own boundaries within their own relationship, and what works for them works for them. We just didn't understand the logic. Man, hold on, hold on. That shit hurting, fool. I'm sorry. You got a nice smile though. I'm gonna let you. I'm, I'm gonna let you make it. You got a nice smile. Thank you, thank you. You got veneers. Like, see, she, he likes her smile. There's nothing wrong with that. No, it's cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, oh. They look like veneers. They look yeah. Like yeah, you got a really nice smile. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So what about you? You talk to anybody? I'm not gonna lie to you, gay funny as fuck. He said, yeah, give me that headset. Give me that headset so I can listen in. Nah, man, I'm I'm focused on, on what I, you know, got going on. So what you be looking for in a woman? One that can do hell, like <laughs> you. Okay. <laughs> nah, I'm for real, look. Nah, real shit though. Probably, you know, somebody that, that, that can just chill out, you know how to have fun, know how to laugh, ain't too, ain't too uh, serious for themselves. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shit, like, you know. Okay. What this is? Perfect match. Perfect match. Yeah. Okay. You see, I'm. You trying to find a match? You know. I think someone was telling me about this show. I don't know. Maybe I should go find some love on there. My hope is horrible. Man, that shit be so fake and watered down. You Look, she just said, maybe I should go find some love on there. Look, look, Gangi, you're cooked. She's not fucking with you to the same way you fucking with her, gang. You're done. You're chopped. I was having, I was going to have faith, you know, in the black queen, but she said, um, you're not enough. You're not good. She's dropped a, a lot of red flags. And now I just want to hear what he's going to say. What delusion is he going to put out now to make himself feel better? Let's find out together. You're going to find no love on that. <laughs> My cousin was on one of them shows. Your cousin lied. She told you she found love. Nah, she was. She was. Well, she was on Love Man. Is Blind. Love Is Blind. Yeah, that's one she was on. She was on that thing. She was on that getting pipe. <laughs> I don't know if they was fucking on the show, but the that's what it is. Just a big sex tape. But she still, she still. Just a big sex day. tape. To this day, beautiful black man, beautiful black family. This video could have easily been an hour long, you guys. They was vibing in the house and they was talking about a lot of nothing, just kind of just rambling. So just keep in mind that we compress a large portion of the test just so we can get you guys to the most relevant parts. Massages and shit. Appreciate you, Gangy. With the, with the hair. If anything, shouldn't you be offering me a massage? I'm the one doing the work. Facts, you, you want me to, yeah, I can get here, come here, I get He asked for a massage and then she said, you should be offering me again. 
That's not something that should come out of your girl's mouth while she's at work doing business. But bro probably going to say, no, nah, it's okay. They're just chatting. They're just friendly. You feel me? That's what he's going to say. You, you, you have a break? Let me, let me show you what these hands like. Let me see. Give me a good shoulder massage. Let me see what you. Let me see what you're working with. Yeah. I need to see if you actually. And he said no touching. Let me show you what these hands like. Now, he also said I no touching. You, I'm, I'm gonna touch you. I'm, hey, you try to take it there. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take it all the way. I'm gonna finish. I'm trying to see what you're working with. I'm gonna finish. Okay. Firm grip. <laughs> it see that? So. See. Don't look at me. Keep your head straight. Come here. Nah, see, bro. Grip. It's already cooked, chat. It, it's, it's already cooked, chat. It's already cooked, chat. It's cooked. She's about to say, don't do that if you're not really about it. It is fucked. It's over with. Look, look at the scene. Look at the scene. It's over with. Look at the scene. It's over with. It's cooked, bro. Like, I don't think you can't make no excuses for this behavior, bro. Like, this shit here is dead, bro. Like, let's lock it in. Damn, I'm not the one to play like, like that. What is it, bro? Come on. You always feeling my arms. Yeah, it feels good up. though. Stand up. I thought y'all said you wouldn't go touch it. See. So like. Now he's gonna blame the dude for touching her when she said it. The words came out of her mouth first. He was like, "Well, you should give me a massage," and she said, "Well, I'm doing your hair. You should give me a massage." And she sat down for the massage. He grabbed her neck, and she said, "Don't do that if you're not ready." Bro, if you blame this dude, bro, we know you're the problem here. I mean, there's no it, getting cheated on is not fair, good for anyone. It's not okay to do, right? Whatever. But at this point, you've been delusional. You've known this woman for four years in college, and then you dated her. You know what kind of look, look, bro? I'm about to crash. We gotta go. We gotta go. We go. Let me stop. Bro, for real. <laughs> Let me stop. Hey, man, I ain't the one to play. If you really you feel me? Let's take a break from this shit. You problem. wanna take a break? Yeah, I think we need a break. Yeah. Yeah, cause this shit really hurt my head too. So, okay. take a break. And she, she feeling him too. She's feeling him, bro. Also, got you. Hold on, gang. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I ain't trying to watch you. Hold on, I, I missed something. We missed something. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah, cause this shit really hurt my head too. So, okay. Take a break. Okay. Would you try to take a break and watch TV? Mm mm. I ain't trying to watch TV. Oh, you trying to give me a massage? Yeah, I'm trying to finish that massage. Yeah. yeah. Sound good to me? All right. Yeah, get comfortable. I'll we'll cover this shit. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I'll see you get comfortable. Get comfortable? I'm about to grab some covers and shit. Bro, this is about to be crazy. This is about to be actually insane. Look at, let's look at, bro. Let's examine bro's facial expressions. Let me move the cam. Move the cam out the way. Yeah, this shit's cooked, bro. It's just you, kick, you don't bro. want nothing drinking then? You sure? You good? Uh, I'm good. Good? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yo, this is cooked. It's over with. What was that, man? You told me you weren't gonna touch her. We talked about this beforehand. Oh, you mean you said I didn't touch her? Right, but you said you weren't gonna touch her. Ooh, relax, baby. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I'm just saying, she's feeling already, bro. It touches. That, that's what you said, man. I said, I. You touch what you said, See, I'm. I'm bro, you gotta get that. Look, look, look. Do you want. We can go down right now. No, man, keep going. It's fine. No, I... Bro, okay, I'm going to be fair. I'm going to be fair. He did say don't touch her, but you got to think, in the middle of these types of tests, if something starts going a certain way, and then the dude is just like, uh, yeah, never mind, I don't really want to do that, it's going to fuck up the whole vibe. You brought these dudes here to film me, you feel me, to find out if your girl was really about anything with you. She said that she had someone, but it's not serious. That should have been your red flag right there, bro. She said, yeah, I have someone, but it's not that serious. But you really upset over some touches? She's probably doing way more than that, getting the backies on daily, and you you don't even know about it. And you said you know this girl for four years before y'all started dating, and y'all been together for eight months. So you knew her in college. You've seen how she moved previously, I'm almost 100% sure. You probably was in the best friend category, so you probably know all the shit she was doing before you. 
Like, this is not a hard case to solve, bro. You're just fucking cooked. That's it. No, are you sure? Keep going. He's cooked, no, bro. Finish, bro. Finish it up. Finish it. It's fine. Keep no, going. No, wait, 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 bro. If you want to go down, we can go down now. I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. It's too late. I've been on. That's what I'm saying. Eight months. Sorry. And she said it's nothing Maybe serious, bro. It. Cook, bro. We get all the evidence we need. So, but I'm saying, Cook. do you feel like she's done enough at this point before he go back down here? Because if not, we just go with him. Not bro saying she is going to cheat. Don't worry. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you your girl going to cheat. <laughs> Bro's going through it. Hey, hey don't listen. Just try not to touch her, bro. Right, touch Thank you. Adrian had a problem with Dino touching his girlfriend, and I understood completely because he actually voiced that at the beginning of the test when we was going over the do's and don'ts. Sending Dino back downstairs to continue the test was completely irrelevant to me. I don't understand why he wanted to continue, but because he insists, we're going to go ahead and let him go back down there and see what happens. Don't put on no, no kitty movie. Flick. Yeah. No, okay, let's let's make a prediction here now. Let's make a prediction here now. So for chat and everybody in the comments when y'all see this on YouTube, let's make a prediction now. Do you think that this goes further than cuddling? Yeah, well, yeah, trust. Yeah, but do you think this is going to go further than cuddling? I think this goes further than cuddling. I'm not going to lie to you. I think this goes further than cuddling. We're at 15 minutes of this video and there's 24 minutes total. This goes further than cuddling. There's no way it doesn't. But bro wanted to continue the test. Your girl was getting rubbed on, bro, and you want to continue the test. I don't get it. I don't get it. Like an adult movie. Oh, yeah. You watch those? Yeah, what you got in mind? You can't watch it on Netflix. Oh, they got hey, romantic comedies. Mm-hmm. We can't watch it on Netflix. He's insane. Yeah. You get comfortable. You wanna? Hmm? You get comfortable. You get more comfortable than that. If you want to? Yeah. Go ahead. This shit ain't gonna be hot. Oh yeah, I got a little sports bra on. That's cool. Do your thing. It's cooked, bro. It's cooked, bro. She done yeah. came out the sweater. I can't look at you. She done came out the sweater. I'm waiting on the invite. Oh, yeah, come on. Yeah, you know. Oh! Yeah. That don't make no sense, man. She not like that. I'm calm, Scott. Okay. I heard this was a good movie. What? No, like, love hard. Love hard. You feel me? Love hard, huh? You don't care for it? No. Why you keep looking at me like that? Like, I can't look at you. You can't. See, not you like that. Know. Yeah, that was insane, bro. <laughs> oh, well, let me turn my head. Look at his face, bro. <laughs> he knows. You gotta relax, bro. I am relaxed. I don't look relaxed to you. You do look comfortable. You can get more comfortable. Come on. Let's go to my room. Go oh, your room. Mm-hmm. Where's that? Upstairs? Yeah. Nah, my room in the backyard. Well, shit. I don't know. You got this big ass house. Yeah, you ain't show me no toy, no nothing. All I see. Cause mom's gonna get fed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you for it. Mm -hmm. We go upstairs. What are you doing that? You gonna, you gonna give me that massage you was talking about? A little more than that though. You sound fine. As long. A little more than that. A little more than that. That sounds fine. That sounds fine. That sounds fine. Bro's cook. Bro's cook. Bro's cook. Bro's cook. Like, there's no way you frame this to the, make it the, the dude's fault only. This is definitely, definitely, your girl is about it. She's about that lifestyle, bro. Hey, listen. If you can't see the red flags, I guess we can't see them either, bro. Fuck it. Why is this a good time? Cook. <laughs> you sound like one of the GTA freaks. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, I'll probably <laughs> yeah, come on. Yeah, you fun and stuff. <laughs> and then Gabe just laughing, bro. It's so cold in here. Anything.
no funny shit. You know what I would have did in the <laughs> You know what I'd have did in this part? I would have walked her up to the command center. I would be petty and walk her up to the command center. But bro trying to get his Peter Wacker touch for sure. Watch. I already know it. Oh yeah, it's gonna get real warm in this bitch. Okay. Hey, you're Let's not wrong. Come on. Bro is trolling. My bro cast. is trolling this whole time, bro. That's you. Yeah, He's yeah. actually trolling this whole I'm time, bro. It's insane. Me, I'm trying to put that thing in my face. I'm not trying to. Shit. Right nah, you putting that thing in my face. Stop trying to put that thing in my He's face. I'm not going downstairs. I just want you right here. Right here to the left. Yeah, it's a guest room and stuff like that. Master bedroom. She showers on this. Come on in. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Good shit. Good shit, bro. Good shit. Good shit, bro. Sorry, TikTok. I'm I know that's a bad word, but I'm excited that bro bought, brought her to the command center, bro. It was needed. It was necessary. Like she needed to see what was going on. Look what she look at the look on her face. She, huh? What the heck? What's going on? She's cooked. She's froze. This is what we were waiting on, though. This is what we were waiting on. No. What is this? this is the real question. It is. <laughs> that is the real question. That's facts, brother. That is the real question. What is this? What's going on here? Are you watching me? What the fuck? What? what the fuck is going on? You've been on a loyalty test. He reached out to me because he wanted to see if you was truly loyal to him or not. And he just got his answer. You just showed me that you're not. I really don't got shit to say. I mean, you let me do whatever I want anyway, so what you expect? You right. Yeah, you need to be a little bit more of a man, more direct. Maybe. She said, you let me do what I want anyway. What do you expect? And you know what? I see it. Bro does look like the type who would just let you, a woman walk all over him and not set his own boundaries. Look at how Jack is looking at him. <laughs> bro definitely was letting her do whatever she wants. So she's just doing whatever she wants, bro. You never set those boundaries. And it still, it still sucks. It still hurts. You know, boohoo feelings yeah we get it but if you never express yourself properly what did you expect her to do like come on now come on now come on now bro come on now why not just leave him why 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 play him fucked up fool why would she I'm, you know i fronted her business and she ain't got what she needs i still help out why would she leave right don't do that because i always have what i need now don't act like you just help support me all the way through. You welcome. You met me in school and I was already starting my business when you met me. Did you help buy a few products? Yeah, but let's not be confused. Now it's just gonna belittle whatever help that he offered. Money. I helped you buy product, helped you with your taxes, I helped you get grants for small businesses. Don't tell me what okay, I didn't help I'm you with. Honest. Okay, you telling me all you helped me with, but what the fuck that gotta do with your pain? It don't work. Okay, what? Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Holy shit. She just fried him on the internet. Everyone in that room is laughing on the. <laughs> she just fried him, bro. She literally fried him. She fried him, bro. She fried him, bro. It's he's done, bro. There's nothing else you could do about it. like in that situation. You got to take that L. Should he just said you don't you, you should it, it's the work not working, bro. Like the function not functioning, bro. But. Like, Holy, holy. <laughs> Coochie drop Coochie, what the fuck you want me to do? So you trying to embarrass me, but who's really embarrassed? <laughs> What's that rhino pill? Let's try it. So, I even recommended it. So you is what are you being honest right now or are you just saying that? I'm being very honest. You know what you got? So that bothering you on what you said? Cause how can you tell a grown man that his like, how do you comfortably say it really ain't working or it's really not good. Like, I understand people are a grower and not a shower, but you're not a grower or a fucking shower. So why are you saying it now? Bro. 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 No fuck. No way, bro. She said it doesn't work. She said it doesn't work. She says you're not a grower or a shower. She says you don't have anything. 
She's literally ruined this man's life on the internet. Any girl that sees this video and sees him will never deal with him. <laughs> Yo, that was actually some villain, some villain behavior. Well, shit, you want some shit? I'm just letting you know what it is. You asked me why I'm cheating, why I'm not loyal. Shit, I'm letting you know. You wanted an answer. You know what? Is, way... this the answer, is this what you wanted to hear? Because you obviously looking. This is the answer you wanted, right? You wanted some truth. This is the truth. I wanted the truth the same time you was asking me for money. I wanted the truth the same times you you was laying next to me telling me about your problems you was having with your business and I was being real with you. That's what I wanted. Okay, and the same That's fair. Over, That's fair. About the problems with my business, I expected to roll over and get some good shit, but that ain't happened. So. That. Shit. I'm looking for something different. So you you fuck up with somebody because of that? Yeah. Man, you ain't shit, fool. Call me what you want, Bookie, but for me, it got to be. <laughs> mental, he invested, he it got to be mental, but physical, but he and sexual. Into a you investing into. Okay, you think I don't invest things into into a relationship? It takes two to work. He invests things the same way. I'm obligated to like this man, nigga. Man, you hurting the man, bro. Show some respect, bro. Okay, well, I'm sorry that I don't fuck with your opinion. It's trash. I wanted something different, so. <laughs> like, what do you do in this situation as the people recording this shit? Like, I just, like, I would be cracking up, bro. Because, like. To be fair, she is a piece of shit, high key. Like, I don't care. I'm just going to be honest. Like, and even if he was trash in the bedroom, she could have just said that. She could have just said that. She didn't respect him at all. You got to think about it. If she's felt like this since the day one, and you got to think they was friends for four years, she knew he would help her with whatever they, she needed. They was friends for four years. So she's been a piece of crap towards this dude easily. And if it was because of sexual reasons, you could just say, look, we're not compatible sexually, so I don't think this is going to work out. She probably never did that because the money was coming in and, and keeping her business afloat. And that's kind of like screwed up. Like, why would you even do that? You could have just moved on. You could have found somebody that you're sexually compatible with, in all honesty, and who would still support you. You don't have to just use somebody because you know they'll do it. To me, that shit is like, that's like insane, actually. Can we wrap, can we wrap this up, man? I mean, you can go. I mean, you, yeah, you can go. You just go. go. I'm gonna go, bro. Oh, he about to crash out. He about to crash out. He about to crash out. You don't get to just walk away after all this. No, I don't need you to beg me, but I need you to, you know, woman up. And admit the no. I don't like you like that. I don't like you that. Shit, you want to say it in Spanish, Pequito Nico? Fuck you want to say it in Spanish? Pequito is little Spanish, Pequito. Thank you. Give me my keys. That's my car. Give me my keys. Oh, you you act like you can't hear me now. You've been talking this whole time, but you can't listen. I would like my keys, please. Yeah, get a lift. With your own money this time. How about that? Well, I'm not taking you home. Why are you getting in a... Why are you getting in a car? I'm going to the same fucking place. Don't you want me to pack my shit? Don't You're you right. want me to go? You're right. You're going to pack your... Let's go. Don't make an Uber. What the fuck are you talking? Hey, hey, no. You got nothing else to say right now. She going to pack it. Look, she knows that he's not going to leave her. Because Jack even said, no, bro. What are you doing? Make her get an Uber home. Let her take an Uber to the house and pack her stuff and Uber her stuff out of there. She's talking to you like she knows she already got you whipped. She's like, get your, get get in this car. Let's go to the house. You, yeah, bro, you're cooked, bro. You're cooked, bro. You're cooked. You're cooked. Infinitely cooked, bro. There's no saving you. Hey, you're cooked, go. Bro. Don't worry about yeah, it. Fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you, too. The fuck? Come on. What? You going back and forth with these motherfuckers? What the fuck they got to do? Like, I'm going to go pack my shit. Fuck you and the camera like what? Bro. Come on, shit. Ready to fucking go. He Uber here. He's whip. And she's trying to embarrass me. You, you embarrassing yourself. You, you only embarrassed yourself. No, now you everybody knows oh, you're you dick Everybody and knows you're dick And everybody knows you's a bitch. How about that? Okay. I'm okay. a bitch with money. Yeah, okay. No, you ain't got Did he, he, he leave, leave with the microphone? My money. Business. No. All my shit is not yours. You help. Did he leave with a microphone? He got in the car with her, bro. He got a mic on. Damn. That was crazy, bro. Yeah, it looked like she kind of was taking advantage of him. Looked like she was. Ain't no look they like 100%. Safe, hopefully, they don't be fighting at the crib, but until next time, jack off. Okay. W loyalty test from Jack TV. Make sure y'all check his channel out as usual. But that was insane. Bro got disrespected.
she put all bro business out there. She had she didn't have a lick of like um respect for dude at all. She really didn't care. And he was um yeah, bro, he's cooked. That's all there is to it. You already know what to do. If you made it to the end of the video, hit this like button, subscribe, and until next time. Okay.